Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. Hello. We uh, remembered we or need Joe, more seeds soon. Joe remembered actually what uh, oh sunflower seeds. What uh, the topic was last time that we um, that everybody missed. Yes, it was. It was uh, we, we we were talking about tradition. What we the, could get get away with. Uh, I think the entire two episodes that we recorded that nobody saw um, were about that traditions. Yep. Uh, we talked a lot about uh, how marriage has become over bloated and is less about the marriage now and more just about how much money you spend on the wedding. Uh, and same with the... Uh, oh, okay. We're, are we not going to talk with Gustav? You were talking, so... Uh, yeah, that's true. Um, and how it's, uh, and, and funerals, how it's no longer about the person pa passing on. It's more about how much money can we spend on this person's funeral to prove that we love them. Yeah, my, my real point was that, um, marriages have gotten out of control. Marriage is a sham. No, I'm kidding. Maybe funerals not so much, but still, <clears throat> they still cost a lot of money just to put someone in the ground. Yep. Yeah. Uh, like I mentioned off screen, uh, I think the act of a funeral is important, and science agrees. The act of seeing someone be physically lowered into a grave it's kind of like saying goodbye it can actually really help some people move on from somebody's not really move on but like accept someone's death and uh continue on with their life um i don't feel they... like i don't feel like that really made any difference to me but you know the people that have passed uh, haven't really been super close to but i yeah. have gone i have gone to their uh funerals um i was uh what they call a pallbearer for my grandma yeah. and i would never do that again that was so weird carrying carrying the uh the remains of uh, your dead grandmother. Yeah, that's weird. That was that freaked me out. And, and I was like, "Oh, sure, I'll do it." You know. Yeah. She, pro she probably would have wanted me to, and I did it and instantly regretted it. <laughs> don't yeah. ever, don't ever do that, Joe. I don't plan on it. Tell him you have a bad back or something. I don't know. I do. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I kind of injured my back a couple of times. But nothing too serious. All right, let's go talk with Gustav. And we got... No, no more fishing. No, ch no chance of getting hair anything, apparently. Quick Stella. Uh -huh. There you are. Ahem. It is with great pride and unbridled joy that I present to you... Uh -huh. Humanity's legacy, my finest exhibition yet. Not too bad, don't you think? An official opening? Uh huh. Oh, no, no, no. You know who I am. The spotlight is not for me. And besides, venissages are a waste of time. Uh huh. Nothing but an opportunity for officials to run around. Licking each other's. Well, you know what I mean. Uh huh. Well, then, I entrust all of this to your good care. I know I can trust you, and uh, I know I can trust in you after I'm gone. Uh -huh. Oh, don't act surprised. You very well know I'm not the one to hang around longer than necessary. It's so weird, him going through this uh, serious conversation, and he's doing that. Yeah. <laughs> he's cleaning himself. He's preening. I know. He but, yeah, I know, but we're talking to him. Stop doing that. But uh, cats, cats do it all the time. But they're not talking to us. Sometimes while, they while meow. Doing, while doing it. No, they're like licking themselves. And I'm pretty confident I've done all I could here. Uh -huh. And yeah, you're you're right. 
Good old Gustav always looking ahead. But it was quite exhilarating, was uh, this whole endeavor, wasn't it? Uh huh. Well, then, as soon as we pass by the Evador, be in love and drop me off. It'll be appreciated. The well, old violinist. I'm honestly gonna kind of miss him. He was kind of a jackass, but no, I'll miss him. You said, yeah. You were the one that said you didn't like him. <laughs> uh, well, let's just go to the nearest bus. But is there a bus near the, um, the end place? Yeah. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. So we are here. The closest bus would be like here. Sure. All right, so we'll be getting rid of Gustav this episode, which will give us our last uh, spirit flower, and then we can go into the new area because of that. Um, tell, I had a little bit more questions about the school thing, but not much, really. Oh, okay, and, go ahead. And, may, and maybe, maybe you don't have anything to say necessarily, but um, I, I and because. You already said this. Maybe this is your answer. But what was your um, like most hated moment about school? My most hated moment. Yeah. Um, I mean, subject or thing you had to learn or maybe ex experience. You know. Okay. So I wrote a paper. That, uh, it was actually related to history, but mm -hmm. they were. Oh, I thought this was about this storm no. thing. Just a chop. Oh, okay. I can back out. All right. Well, I had to do a history thing. It was on China. It was the history of China that I was learning, and it was about the passage of the uh, the one child law. And I said I didn't. I, I I didn't say I agreed with it, right? But I understood why they passed the the one child law in China. At, uh, I I don't agree with it. Just want to let that be known. But my, uh, my, my, my mentor teacher, uh, thought me saying I understood it meant that I agreed with it. And she chewed me out in front of her daughter and, like, made me rewrite the entire essay because I said that one thing. Uh, they can't make you... I, I, I understand, you know, it's stupid in the first place, but... They can't make you redo something just because... It was either that or I get a failing grade on it. Just because they don't like it. Should have seen the principle about that. Eh. I mean, I already felt humiliated enough at literally being, like, basically thrashed by her <laughs> in front of her daughter. Uh, so I was just like, I just wanted... To, I want this to be done and over with, so I rewrote it. Uh, that was my least favorite moment, and uh, it really sucks because I actually really like that mentor teacher. She's the whole reason that I like started writing in the first place. Uh, but that that was just one thing that she hated so much that she she was just like, uh, "Rewrite this, or I'm gonna have to fail you." And they never experienced something like that. Uh, so yeah, that, that's my one thing, is that, uh, basically, I, teachers can take things out of context if you don't, and people, of course, right, can take things out of context if you don't write them, per like, perfectly, and because of that, they'll make your life miserable. <laughs> Should be able to explain to them if they're rational people, you know. Yeah. Which there that's are good. irrational people. I'm sure there are. And she was. It was just, for whatever reason, that one topic was just, like, totally offensive to her. Maybe she Let's wanted go. children. Uh -huh. I gather you're ready to take me away. I guess. Very well. Onwards. Stop doing it. <laughs> I thought yeah. you liked Gustav. I do. I just don't like him doing that while we're talking to him. Hey, it's the big bird and the little bird. 
Um, are you going to ask me mine? Yes. What is your least favorite moment from school? All of them. All of them. There was, All right. there was nothing I liked about school. No. I suppose there are a few things, but more the majority of school outside of college, I did not like. Okay. Um, the people, the, the, there were some decent teachers, but um, not really a lot that I liked. High school was terrible. Middle school is okay, but um, uh -huh. square dancing, that was bad. Square dancing, yeah. I, I, I was hoping you were going to say square dancing. <clears throat> it seems to me you were quite surprised by my request to leave. And it seems to me you still are. But you have to understand, Stella. Uh -huh. That everything is but a meaningless arrangement of atoms. Everything you've ever known, seen, or experienced. I agree. Fortuitous circumstances. Uh -huh. In the universal chaos, humanity emerged. Not a tiny bit more purposeful than the rest. But with an incredible faculty. Uh -huh. That of creating meaning, however fleeting it might be. I have no inherent meaning. Neither do you. But we can create, organize, put in order, uh -huh. and thus create purpose and meaning. Transcend the primordial chaos. All of humankind does so. Uh -huh. We create machines that are useful to take control. Machines like the chair. I wouldn't really call that a... <laughs> Which chair are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, right? The one that subsumed me. Oh, really? The electric chair? Um, that's interesting if that's what you're talking about. Uh -huh. But maybe also that made me truly realize what impermanence means. For our numerous creations only have meaning as long as they are useful. And when finally they are unneeded, uh -huh. once again do they turn to heaps of metal, wood, and bones melted back into the universal chaos stripped of their inherent humanity uh -huh. and all of our and all our bodies and all our minds in a similar fashion i do not yet know what to do about this uh -huh. usefulness is an easy way to meaningfulness meaningfulness but not a trustworthy one it vanishes as quickly as we do. Uh -huh. And so it seems the only hope humanity has for transcendence is through art. Meaningfulness pulled from our chaotic minds. Not for utility. I, I think I know why I like this game. Uh -huh. No, yeah? <laughs> why is that? I, I agree with a lot of his philosophies and things. Mm. And thoughts. But but I'm not but I'm not stuck up like him. <laughs> but for its own sake, and after the artist has been long gone, turned to dust, uh -huh. the art remains. And even a after the last one of all humans will have returned to the primordial chaos, uh -huh. provided that we have protected it, it will remain. Uh -huh. And so it is that art alone is left in our wake. The only veritable form of transcendence to ever have been in our grasp. Proof of our existence and of our pitiful efforts to raise from the chaos. Uh -huh. As would some unknown script from a long gone power. Time to go. It'd be interesting to be able to actually say your final words. I mean, some Use people, them. I suppose somebody, some people do, but I mean in an actual speech, not like your final word. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess some people do get the chance to do that. And uh, 
um, they can leave, they can even leave like a, a letter or something like that. Oh God. <laughs> uh, I just realized that some people do leave letters and that's not a good situation. No, I was I was about to say is like you mean a suicide note? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't think I wasn't thinking about that. I swear that's not what I was thinking of. I was thinking what I was thinking of was uh, the Walking Dead, and I suppose now that I think about it, that may have been a suicide. Um, but I was thinking about the Walking Dead, where the the kid gets bit, and then he writes a letter to each um, every person that. Uh, at least what he was very close with and he got to leave yeah. he got to leave each of them a, a personal message it was not it was not like suicide but he knew he was going to die yeah i, I mean some people do know that they're going to die like they have cancer or something or like uh you know they were about to pull the plug cuz you have an incurable disease that kind of a thing right and that's not a that's, I mean, it's still a bad situation, but it's not as bad as we were just talking about. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it would be good to be able to be healthy and, con and you know, not like on a bunch of pain medication or something. Trend lu lucent, lucent, what is it? Uh, lucid. Lucid, lucid. You know, um, to be able to actually express ourselves and, and, uh, uh, describe what we thought was the meaning of our life and how, um, you know, what was most important to us. And... You'd like a spirit fair moment like this. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm just another reason to like this game. Okay, we can continue. Oh, we're here. Uh -huh. Well, well, now Stella Osmondius beckons. Let's Ozzy. go. Ozzy. Ozymandias Dias beckons. Hug. Mm. Would you like a hug goodbye? When you were gonna die? As your mm. last as your last moment? Sure, why not? <laughs> There's a quote from Peanuts, you know the cartoon and comic strip. Yeah. It's like it, it's something like we all need someone to kiss us goodbye. Yeah, I think, and uh, I'm memory is bad of it, so it's not exact, but um, it's still stuck in my mind, even though I can't, maybe not. You know, my memory is not so good, but that's a um, really shitty owl. And all these are shitty, though. It's just a symbol. Hey, whoops! You ready to quit? No, I, I wanted to hit continue so we could get to the platformer part already. Oh, there's no platforming. Oh. I wanted to get the platforming over with is what that's, my mind was. That's good, actually, because we're, we're about to finish. And that Give me the sphere flower. That, uh, that would have gone on for too long, I think. <laughs> this is actually just the right amount of time. Oh, we gotta wash the water. Sorry. I want to see what we're missing now. We're missing silver and crystal glass sheets. Remember that, Gary. That's what we're doing next time. God. Bless America. I might not remember it either. Unless I edit it like the day before the day of or something like that, which could could potentially happen. <laughs> With as uh, right. you know, which with, with as sporadically as I'm doing these things, but anyways, at any rate, um, yeah, um, I don't know. I wanted to say something a little more profound, but uh, I got nothing. I'm just gonna say goodbye, Gustav. Yeah, we'll miss you, Gustav. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.